Gerald Moore was an American radio, film, and television character actor who appeared in more than 500 plays, 73 films, and over 100 television shows. Moore was born June 11, 1914, in New York City to singer Henrietta Moore and her husband Sigmund Moore. He was well-educated, beginning in Dwight Preparatory School in New York City. He learned to speak several languages and was fluent in Swedish, French, and German. While training to become a doctor at Columbia University, Moore was struck with appendicitis. He was recovering in the hospital when a fellow patient, a radio broadcaster, realized Moore's pleasant baritone voice would be ideal for radio. Moore was hired by the radio station and became a junior reporter. But by the mid-1930s, Orson Welles invited him to join his formative Mercury Theater. Moore was one of the busiest actors in Hollywood for many years. He made more than 500 appearances in radio roles from the 1930s through the early 1950s. He starred in Raymond Chandler's hard-boiled detective Philip Marlowe from 1948 to 1951 in 119 episodes. He also starred in The Adventures of Bill Lance, was one of the actors who portrayed Archie Goodwin in Nero Wolfe, frequently starred in The Whistler, and acted in different roles in multiple episodes of Damon Runyon Theatre and Frontier Town. Other radio appearances include Our Miss Brooks, Box 13, Escape, and Lux Radio Theatre. Moore began appearing in films in the late 1930s, playing his first villain role in the 15-part cliffhanger serial Jungle Girl in 1941. After three years' service in the U.S. Army Air Forces during World War II, he returned to Hollywood starring as Michael Lanyard in three movies of the Lone Wolf series in 1946 and 47. He also made cameo appearances in Gilda in 1946, Detective Story in 1951, and co-starred in The Magnificent Rogue in 1946 and The Sniper in 1952. From the 1950s on, he appeared as a guest star in more than 100 television series, including the westerns The Californians, Maverick, Lawman, Cheyenne, Bronco, Bonanza, The Rifleman, Wanted, Dead or Alive, and Rawhide. Moore also guest starred in Crossroads, The DuPont Show with June Allison, Harrigan and Son, Barbara Stanwyck Show, Perry Mason, 77 Sunset Strip, Hawaiian Eye, Lost in Space, and many other series of that era, especially those being produced by Warner Brothers Studios and Dick Powell's Four Star Productions. Moore made guest appearances in comedy shows, including The George Burns and Gracie Allen Show in 1951, I Love Lucy in 1953, How to Marry a Millionaire in 1958, The Jack Benny Program in 61 and 62, The Smothers Brothers Show in 65, and The Lucy Show in 68. He had a reoccurring role of newspaper man Brad Jackson in My Friend Irma in 1952. In 1954 through 1955, he starred as Christopher Storm in 41 episodes of the third series of Foreign Intrigue produced in Stockholm for American distribution. Foreign Intrigue was nominated for an Emmy Award in 1954 under the category Best Mystery Action and Adventure Program, and again in 1955 under the category of Best Mystery or Intrigue Series. Moore guest starred seven times in 1957 through 1962's television series Maverick, twice playing Western outlaw Doc Holliday. Moore made four guest appearances on Perry Mason between 1961 and 1966. Notably, in 1966, he played Agent Andy Rubin in the series' last episode, The Case of the Final Fadeout. In 1964, Moore, together with his second wife, Mia Dietrich, planned the formation of an international film company headquartered in Stockholm with Swedish and American writers. The company was to have featured comedy, adventure, crime, and drama shows for worldwide distribution. By then fluent in Swedish, he also planned to star in a film for TV which his character, a newspaper man, would speak only Swedish. He continued to market his powerful voice playing Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic, in the Fantastic Four cartoon series during 1967, and Green Lantern in the 1968 animation series Aquaman. Also in 1968, he appeared in his last film role as con man Tom Bronca in William Wilder's classic musical Funny Girl, before guest starring in the TV western series The Big Valley. Maverick star James Gardner once said of Moore, He made the transition to television and was one of the busiest actors in Hollywood for many years. 
He could tell a joke better than anybody and had a bunch of them. Never repeated himself. And he was a pro. I learned a few things about acting from him. Moore flew to Stockholm in September 1968 to star in a pilot of a proposed television series called The Private Entrance. Shortly after the completion of filming, Moore died of a heart attack on the evening of November 9, 1968 in Stockholm, Sweden, where he is interned. Moore was 54. For old-time radio researchers, I'm your announcer, Patrick Andre.